this point, you should have your practice robot drawn out. Remember, this is just a basic robot just to show me that you know how to use what you've learned so far. If you have this open, we want to talk about fill, stroke, and gradients inside of Illustrator. So all I did on mine was I did white and black, just very simple. But I want to show you a little bit more detail on how to swat out colors, all right? So let's take the body of our robot. And you'll notice I have a fill and a stroke. Whichever one's on top, covering up the other one, is the one that you would be changing the color for. So I have the body selected. That's the fill color of the shape, the inside, right? I have all of these colors, right? We do have swatches, and a lot of noobs come into swatches. Oh, there's some pre-made colors. I'll just pick one of these. There's what, like 20 colors there, and everybody's gonna use those? Why would you wanna use something everybody used? There's only a handful there. That's why we like to use color. There's 16 million whatever colors in here, right? So I can come over and I can click anywhere in this spectrum, right? and get some different colors. I can also adjust the red, green, and blue sliders up here, or I can come back in and click, right? So that's my fill. I also have the stroke. The stroke is the outline, all right? It's another term for the outline. Right now, since I have a red line, there's no stroke. Let's say I make my stroke black. And if I come over here under appearance, you can see stroke and fill. There's also a stroke panel. I'm just going to use appearance. And by default, we have a one point stroke here. And also on our control bar, you'll notice we'll have fill, stroke, stroke weight. And then down here in the bottom left of the toolbar, fill and stroke also. I'm going to use the control bar up here. I'm going to change the stroke of this because we can barely see it to something like seven points, all right? So now if I click off, you can see the stroke really stands out more because I made it thicker, right? Seven point stroke. Let's click on that. You'll notice some options next to stroke right here. If I hit the down arrow, by default it's uniform, means the stroke is the same width all the way around. If I hit this down arrow, there are some presets. Right, some variable stroke widths look a little bit more like something's hand drawn. Okay, so I can click on that. The other thing we have right here is right now it's just a basic brush. So the idea is if you were uh, to have drawn this by hand, you would have drawn it maybe with a brush. So the idea of the stroke, it's a brush stroke drawing the outside of the shape. And you can have a thick or thin brush stroke based on how hard you push the brush. But there's also different brush tips, okay? So here's a charcoal pencil. If I click on that, you'll notice that it looks a little bit different. It switched it back to one point, so let's pop that back up to seven, just so we can see it. And you can see now it's kind of jaggedy looking because of that different brush style. If I click the down arrow again, and I just pull that to expand it. There's only a couple on there, right? So where are there some more? There's these brush library menus right here. So if I open that, there's all kinds of options in here. Borders, bristles, decorative. If I go into artistic, and maybe I come under paintbrush, and I get this panel here that opens up, I can move it out of the way. I can also expand that. Look at all these options. Right, that one's really thick. So I'm gonna come over here and then I'm gonna make it a thinner stroke, all right? I can pick a different one like that. And then I come up thicker stroke. And it's just an idea of giving you an idea of stroke and fill. Same thing with a line up here. Line is a stroke all by itself, right? It has no fill. If you add a fill, watch what happens. Let's pick green. Right, it does this weird thing. So never, 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 like ever use a fill on a stroke on the line itself, right? But we can have black and we can pick one of our strokes here. We can even come up and a 
adjust the width, make it thin, do something like that. If I want this one to match that one, I could take my eyedropper tool and I can eyedrop it. Oh, I guess it doesn't. I thought it did strokes. I guess it doesn't. So what we'll do is we'll click on that one. We'll come back to that. And then you can adjust the thickness down, maybe 0.75, give it a little variety. And then this guy's little hair right here. Let's take something like that. We'll make it skinny. There we go. Now we got some weird kind of spike hairdo, right? So we looked at fill, we looked at stroke, and we looked at adjusting the strokes with the type of brush that we use to stroke our shape. Next tutorial, let's talk about gradients.